A tour bus carrying people from Lancaster County crashed in Nova Scotia, killing one woman, and we have just learned the name of the victim. She is 70 year old Joyce Bauer of Ephrata. News 8's Lancaster County reporter Meredith Jorgensen has more on this accident. Shirley Westlake has great memories of the tour she and her husband run in eastern Canada. The scenery is really um, spectacular. But this was the scene yesterday after the bus crashed and flipped on its side. Shirley's husband, Bill Westlake, the driver and tour owner, went through the windshield. Well, last night he didn't sound too good because he was in a lot of pain. Shirley usually goes on the trips and wants to find out what happened. I think my husband was trying to keep it from me mm -hmm. since I just had um, surgery for the second time in a month. Just as Shirley is worried about Bill, she thinks Bill is worried about her. She doesn't think she'll get the whole story about what happened until Bill gets home. I need to hear my mom's voice. Yeah. Heidi Ebersall says her parents were looking forward to the Cabot Trail and she followed Roseanne and Dennis's trip on the itinerary. These scenes were going to be breathtaking and high up on a cliff and down at sea level and it really talked about it being the highlight of the trip. Roseanne suffered two broken ribs and two cracked vertebrae, certainly a low point of the trip. If she was in Lancaster, I'd be there in a heartbeat. So it's really hard to know that she's so far away and I can't do anything to help her. Westlake Tours rents the bus from Executive Coach. It's very sad. It's hard to contact people to say a loved one has been injured on one of our vehicles. We are, um, our hearts go out to them. In Lancaster County, Meredith Jorgensen, News 8. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police are still investigating what caused that crash.